hello uh, I finally have some time some energy to make a video for you uh, so here is a clean WordPress install uh, I also have this theme installed and activated here as you can see here's the theme and I also have plugins installed and activated including the necessary bundled plugins well they're not like absolutely necessary but you know, if you want full functionality, you need to have that. Here is the Woof WooCommerce product products filter plugin, the paid version of it. Uh, and uh, well, slider revolution isn't really necessary here uh, since it's not being used, so we can actually deactivate it. And also, I have all the other plugins installed, like Elementor, Content Form, and other. Uh, so once I have all the, the theme and the plugins installed, I need to go ahead and import demo data. So I get go to appearance, uh, import demo data, and import it. Um, I choose the demo I need. I choose the demo I need right here and press import yes import and now I have to wait Okay, so now let's go and take a look at our site. It's pretty good. So now we need to, first of all, we need to fix the, uh, fix the filter right here. And we also need to import the widgets because we don't have the widgets because they are not usually being imported with the demo unfortunately well important importing widgets is is pretty simple uh, you need to go to tools import widget importer exporter and uh, but first you'll need to install this plugin uh, you'll need to install this plugin called um, Yeah, widget importer and exporter by churchthemes.com. I'll, I'll, I can send you a link to that plugin. And um, okay, let me find the file, and I'll be right back with you. Okay. Okay, so I found the file. So um, let's import widgets now because, as you can see, there are no like cart and other widgets, and there is no footer and stuff like that. And people get freaked out because of this. It's not a big deal. So you go to Tools, Widget Importer, and Exporter provided by the Widget Import plugin. You choose a file, this one, I can send it to you, and then press Import Widgets. And the widgets. Uh, will get important at least uh, most of them the majority of them see so now we have all these widgets the language switcher and the currency switcher are not here because the plugins are not here and you know those those are very optional and most people don't need them unless you use like two currencies on your site and stuff like that you, you don't really need that and the, the footer widgets like one of them is missing uh, I think it's the Okay, let's take a look at our original site so we can see which widget is missing there. It's uh, help and support. I think it's the menu. It's a menu widget, the menu that says help and support. Let's take a look here. Yes, as you can see, 
you just need to select the menu it, it cannot be imported it needs to be manually selected so you just select help and support save and it will appear here okay so we're pretty much all set regarding the widgets now the main thing is the filter right here uh, we need to set it up so as we can see the tire sizes taxonomy has been created let's go here and check if there are products yes there are terms and there are products assigned to them so now let's go to settings WooCommerce settings and let's set um, the the filter up let's make this settings work so we go here we go to products filter Uh, first of all, we need to go to extensions and enable hierarchy drop down, then press save changes. Now we need to mark tire sizes because that's what that's the taxonomy we want to use. Now we have to check hierarchy drop down here and press the additional information, um, the additional options uh, button here show chain always yes now taxonomy custom label those are what the drop downs are gonna say uh, i'll just put one plus two plus three it's just an example so it will say one two three you can put whatever you want there and that's pretty much it you hit apply you hit save changes and that is pretty much it um the demo should be completely installed at the moment let's reload the home page okay it's not working for some reason and this happens once in a while so uh, why isn't it working uh, there may be different uh, reasons for that let's take a look if everything is correct here yeah everything seems to be correct uh, let's go to options here uh, everything seems to be correct design everything seems to be all right let's save changes just in case let's reload the page just in case okay still not working uh, <laughs> Mm. Uh, the, there are sometimes will be like all kinds of uh, error messages in here because of the wolf plugin design I guess but it's all right it seems like nothing okay this needs to be like sometimes weird symbols and words get here so they all need to be deleted that's for sure to make sure that everything is working okay yeah that was it so those uh, weird symbols are deleted now and as you can see we have one we have two we have three and they are working and they are based on custom taxonomy which isn't uh, really that comfortable but this is how this plugin works and this is how it works on other sites so that's that's how we made it uh, you can choose different taxonomies you can choose and create different taxonomies you can even base it on product categories just choose the hierarchy drop down and uh, make your categories um, in a way you need to make them and you know uh, you can even use product categories for that but you'll also have to change the the short code uh, as you can see the short code uh, is using the name of the taxonomy so at the moment the name of the taxonomy is tire sizes but if you're going to use something else then the name is going to be you'll need to change the name okay okay elementor come on why don't you oh all right uh, and this here is where we edit uh, this section it's actually like 
not in the body of the home page but it's like in a separate section here and here is our short code edited in a text mode so see here is tire sizes the name of the taxonomy if you say uh, you use a taxonomy called vehicles then instead you put vehicles here and if you use product categories you put product cat and also choose the correct category there just a moment please uh, yeah so uh, that's pretty much it uh, let's put tire sizes back press update and uh, that's pretty much it that's all the installation process there is